Hob Nation, it's your boy Tom, and today we're going to be doing kind of like a showcase. I will be talking a little bit about the code, just so you can modify it if you want. I am going to have two versions of this. Uh, right here, as you can see, I will have the script uh, available. I will also have the executable available. Uh, this is going to be written in AutoHotKey version 1. Uh, reason why is... Uh, I had a lot of weird issues with version 2 with this kind of code, so I haven't quite got around to really summing it up to be fully how the way it should be. Uh, but that will be coming out here hopefully soon once I get more chance. It was just faster to get this up and running in V1 and then convert it later. Uh, the first place you can find this, uh, at least the executable, is go to Tab Nation. Obviously, I have a link in the description below for that. You can go to Auto Hotkey Programs. And it's just going to be listed in here. It's not at the moment of recording this video. I have a few small changes to make. And then it will be uploaded. So you can get the executable through here. Uh, but to get the script, also the executable, a second way is going to be my Discord channel. You simply go here, find auto hotkeys, and uh, go to share your scripts. Uh, in here, you're going to find it uh, here. Once again, it's not up here because I had to make a few changes. Uh, but if you guys want under maybe general, I want you guys to post your results. This is a tracking uh, mouse tracker uh, script, and it'll be kind of cool to see what you all get based on what video game you're playing or application. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to pause real quick, do a real quick uh, sample so you can see what we're actually talking about, and then dive a little bit deeper into it. So here we go. Alright, so here is what we're looking at right now. This is the output file that the auto hotkeys is going to create. Um, this is basically just, I think I did maybe like 10 seconds here. And this is just me randomly moving my mouse around. But as you can see, it's tracking and it's drawing. So it'll be kind of cool to see what you all end up with at the end. Uh, Automatically, uh, Program Manager just means desktop here, uh, but it will grab the window name. So if it's Chrome, it will say Chrome. If it's Minecraft, it will say Minecraft Client or whatever uh, the actual uh, name of the client's called. Uh, and it'll display it here. So share these. I definitely want to eventually make like a video kind of just showing you all this, like a short maybe, depending on how many I get. Um, and then, yeah, I'll give you credit if I can, if you guys, uh, just based off your username, I guess, on Discord. If you download it from my website, I don't really have a way to do that, but Discord's really where you're going to save it and share it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just a fun little thing to do, uh, but this is the output file. It's going to save to my desktop or wherever that your script is located. Um, yeah, so let's talk about the code real quick. Um, for you all, I'm giving you a 15-minute version. Uh, basically, what that means is it's going to track your mouse for 15 minutes, and then it's going to automatically say, all right, 15 minutes worth of data is good enough. We're going to go ahead and save it. Um, so you can change that uh, just by deleting this line of code where it says autosave. Uh, you can just delete that, or you can just use a semicolon to comment it out. Um, but for the sake of what you guys are going to submit to me, please use the 15-minute thing. Um, you can obviously change your hotkey right here. F1 is just what I have assigned. You can change it to whatever. Uh, when you start the program, um, you're going to get a message box letting you know, like, press F1, press Control s to save, or just Control quit uh, q to quit uh, in case something goes wrong or you just need to stop for a second. Um, but yeah... So yeah, definitely excited to see what you guys got. Um, as far as the code goes, this is more of a showcase. I've done videos where I talk a lot about this different kind of stuff. So if you want to, you know, understand how it's like getting some of like the, you know, win get position, I've had videos on that. Check those out. It's uh, tracking your mouse every 50 milliseconds, so it's not overwhelming uh, your computer too much, but it still gives you a very nice looking. Um, movement of the mouse on that printout at the end. Uh, another thing to talk about is control S. That's just what I have. Obviously you might not want that because a lot of programs use control S. So you can change that to like F2 right here if you want. It's really up to you. Uh, another thing I did, uh, let me open that picture again here real quick. Uh, program manager, this is the text. 
Uh, it's size 30, which is right here. You can change that uh, to whatever you want. You can also change the font style, but I kept sim simple. I thought 30 was a pretty decent size, um, but you can always change it if you want that font to uh, show bigger to just display all that. Um, another thing is uh, control Q. Uh, that's going to quit the whole program. Uh, this will not save. It just shuts everything down, basically. Uh, so you can change that once again to really whatever you want it to be. If you don't want it to be control uh, Q, it could be F3. You know, F1, F2, F3. Keep it simple. It's really up to you. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of different DLL calls going on here. I've done at least, I think, one or two very basic intro videos to DLL calls. If you guys really want to see me do some more like in-depth, because I've realized I haven't really done much with those, let me know in the comments. Just comment DLL call, and maybe I'll do a video hopefully soon uh, diving into why these things are good issues you can run into and just maybe talk even about like the syntax and uh, give a lot of really cool examples there's obviously a ton of things that dll's cause so i won't really cover that in one video but i'll give you enough to at least know so comment below dll call and i'll know that that's what you guys want to see but like i said this is a showcase video so nothing too special um yeah i think that's really about it uh like i said uh, this is an auto hotkey version one. I plan to make a version two eventually, uh, but I was having a lot of weird, very annoying issues where it's just being picky about stuff that didn't really seem to make sense. So I haven't figured out a few of the basic things. Uh, it might just be that I need to import a library that would kind of fix those problems, I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to look for you all to basically give me some of these 15 minute video uh tracking save the image upload it to the discord under the auto hotkey section it can be under the general tab or the gaming tab it doesn't really matter i'll see it and i'll make a short video displaying you know each image for maybe five seconds so you guys can kind of see a fun little thing of how that works if you guys have any questions about this script or having issues, let me know in the comments below. Uh, like I said, if you don't have version 1 installed and version 2 installed, you can just use the executable. That doesn't need auto hotkeys. And hey, if you're watching this video and you don't even have auto hotkeys installed, you can use the executable. Uh, if you don't know anything about it, uh, just look at the code. It's going to be available so you can read through it. And uh, if you do get a virus pop-up saying, do you trust this? I mean... That's on you. I'm uploading this script. It's just doing basic mouse tracking, and you can see the code. So uh, if it says something, it's just a false positive, just because I'm not paying for certification. Just in case you guys don't know, those things cost like $200 at the minimum to get your program and code certified, or even like copyright it even cost even more. So it's kind of stupid for the sake of a simple video. All right, everybody. Uh, hopefully the part two of this will be coming out. Like I said, need your feedback. And I will see you all on the next one. Bye!